What's up, Nerf Herders? This is Alan from OC Nerf, and today we have got a brief look at the Fortnite blasters that have been released for 2019 from Nerf. We have uh, Toy Fair coming out this weekend, Toy Fair 2019 in New York. It's happening this weekend. I'm not there, obviously, but we are starting to get a lot of these releases um, from Nerf about all of their brand products, including their co-branded stuff, just like this one. So we're looking at Fortnite blasters today. There's a couple of websites that are talking about it. Um, one in particular, IGN, which I'll have a link to in the description box below. But also HasbroPulse.com is already um, put up the blasters on their shop for pre-sale. So you can already start to take a look at the prices on that and get, um, get uh, your blasters on pre-order already. So we're gonna take a look at each of these blasters. Some of them are more exciting than others. I don't particularly play Fortnite, so I really don't know all the details about each one of these. Perhaps some of you guys who may be playing Fortnite can let me know what you're excited about down in the comments below, or kind of give me some more information about some of these blaster tie-ins that we have. So we're gonna start off with some of the lesser products um, in the tie-in, which these are the Jolt reskins. These are kind of the micro shots. Uh, the micro shot line is a new Jolt series, which has a shell over the Jolt itself that mimics either some co-branded thing, in this case, Fortnite, or some older or current um, uh, Nerf blaster just done up in a tiny Jolt style fashion. All of these Jolt ones that we're going to be looking at today are in the price range of $9.99 US dollars. Um, I'm going to kind of go through them really quickly. They all come with the Jolt itself in a small package with two darts. They're all branded. So this is the first one that we have. This is the Fortnite TS Nerf Micro Shots. I don't know what this is supposed to be mimicking in game, but maybe the tactical shotgun is it kind of somewhat looks like one and the TS kind of reminds you of one. In no way, shape or form is this going to be a tactical shotgun. This is just a jolt. We are going to be looking at the next one here. And this is the Fortnite RL Nerf Micro Shots. I'm assuming RL stands for rocket launcher. Again, this is not a rocket launcher type. This is just going to be shooting your standard uh, full-length elite style foam with their Fortnite branding. But you can kind of take a look at the branding that we have here for the Microshot rocket launcher. And then the next one is the Fortnite Llama. So again, I don't play Fortnite, so I don't understand the reference here, but I'm assuming there's a llama in the game. Um, and this is a Microshot again for that, where you put a dart in the llama's mouth and you pull prime and shoot and it fires a dart. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So these are the micro shot lines for Fortnite. Then we also have the Super Soaker lines. We've got three Super Soaker blasters. Now don't let the name fool you. Super Soaker was great in its day. I remember Super Soakers in my childhood. I wish I had so many of them still around today, but I don't have them all. Um, but these are lesser Super Soakers. This one in particular is the, let's come up with a name here, the Fortnite TS-R Super Soaker. Again, I'm assuming TS stands for Tactical Shotgun. And it is just a simple pump and prime. There's no real trigger to go with it here. So there's this area here, but from what we can tell, the trigger area is just a fake trigger. It doesn't actually actuate. It's just this pump area here. So it's a push, the air through the pump and feed the water out through the barrel. That's just a simple system that it has. So the faster or stronger that you pump it, the more water is gonna be um, pushed through there. Now these ones are um, also, they, they've also listed kind of the, the size and the capacity of it. So this can hold up to one liter or 36 fluid ounces for the tactical shotgun here. The price of the tactical shotgun super soaker is 19.99 US dollars. It comes in this color scheme as far as we know. The shell looks interesting. Um, it's potentially a good thing for cutting up, I guess. If you're really into super soakers, this might still work out for you, but this has some nice, really aesthetic lines if it's in the right proportions, which we're not really sure of yet. The next one we're looking at here is a Desert Eagle style um, squirt blaster. So it actually does have an actuating trigger here. It's just a simple squirt squirt gun so it's got water stored in there and it kind of squirts it out the front but it does have a trigger the price point of this is 9.99 which actually not too bad it's a squirt 
pistol and that's all it really is um, but it looks in the form factor of a desert eagle probably a lot smaller than one so not to scale the capacity for it is 7.4 fluid ounces or 218.8 milliliters so that is uh, the Fort, Nerf Fortnite HC-E Super Soaker. I'm not quite sure, maybe Hand Cannon HC. Let me know if I'm actually getting any of this right. I'm just kind of guessing on what the names of these are based on their codes. So if I'm actually getting this right, cool. If I'm not, let me know. Correct me down in the comment section below if you play Fortnite. The next one that we're looking at is the Fortnite RL Super Soaker. Again, I'm gonna guess this is a rocket launcher. No sugar, again, this is just a hamp style. So you've got a water reservoir in the back and you just pump it. And again, just like the tactical shotgun Super Soaker, as fast and as hard as you can pump it is how much it will actually shoot water out. The capacity for this is 9.3 fluid ounces and 275 milliliters. If I didn't name it already, the price for this is um, $19.99. So this is $20 US as well. So those are the super soakers that are going to be out for Fortnite. We'll probably get more information about these as the uh, reviewers and other channels go to Toy Fair and kind of take a look at them in person. Now let's take a look at the probably more exciting options that we have. So the first one here is the Fortnite SP-L. And this is $19.99 also. Um, silenced Pistol is my best guess for SP. So this is a three-round capacity blaster with a barrel attachment in this silencer. Um, the internal magazine here is very reminiscent of like the Gen Erso and the um, uh, DL-44 Han Solo blaster. So it's got an internal magazine. It has probably a end strike attachment at the front that will put this barrel on there or any other end strike attachments here nothing else to this it's three shots pullback prime on this top slide um, it's got some sights at the top uh, and looks pretty cool to me uh, again it's kind of going in that cartoonish style so fortnite obviously has real steel counterparts to the to the game again i don't play it but it's just from what i've gathered and nerf has taken that design language and given it a little bit of a cartoonish spin. So the next one is, I am assuming, their current flagship for the Fortnite line. And this is the Fortnite ARL. We've already kind of seen a lot of this in the past. Um, it's been leaked for quite a while now, but this is the Fortnite AR-L. Very, look, very much looks like a cartoonish version of a real, uh, real life SCAR rifle. Um, and this is retailing for $49.99. Now, this is a flywheel blaster, whereas the previous one was a Springer. This flywheel blaster is a semi-automatic based on the information that we have here. It comes with this rather large and cartoonish 10 dart magazine, banana style magazine, and it comes with 20 official Fortnite darts. You get double the darts for the magazine, which is all right, cool. And obviously, it runs on flywheel technology. It's probably just very much so strife internals with this long barrel here. You go all the way through. It's got a couple of flip-up sights. It has perhaps a foldable stock or just at least a stock attachment back here. None of these, if it was a detachable stock attachment, it's probably not going to look good in any other blaster in general just because of the way the design language is here compared to like your end strike line. So it probably won't work aesthetically for that. Um, not sure if this is a detachable barrel attachment, probably not. It's probably molded into the shell. But with all this barrel drag in there, you're probably expecting the same kind of performance from the Jin Urso or Captain uh, Cassian and or Deluxe Blaster, which those two blasters performed really poorly because they also were using it for lights and sounds, but also because they had the long barrel. This might perform slightly better than those because it doesn't have any other lights and sound features to it but it still is going to suffer from that long barrel as any flywheel blaster is going to so these are the fortnite blasters again i'll have a link to the ign um, article that gives you more information and more details about the uh, these blasters down in the com um, down in the description below i'll also have a link to the hasbro pulse where you can start to pre-order these blasters 
Um, thank you guys for watching. If this is the first time that you've stumbled upon my channel because you're looking up some Fortnite blasters or things that are coming out in Nerf News of 2019 as we're getting around the corner for a toy fair, uh, thank you guys for finding me and I hope this information was valuable to you. Uh, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can kind of get um, notified on when I go and put up new content. So there's going to be probably a little bit more content coming around as all the hype is getting real for all the 2019 blasters. If you have any more information about any of these blasters or any corrections, again, I don't play Fortnite, so I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think. Leave a comment down below or just say hi. I'd love to kind of chat with you anyway, especially if you're new. And uh, like this video if you found it helpful. Share it if you find it also helpful to others. And thank you guys for watching. Nor, for, nor fun, everybody. <laughs>